Pharmaceutical drugs face massive hurdles in getting to market. Extensive animal testing does not always guarantee the drug will work in humans, which means it's back to square one if the drug fails or is found to be dangerous to humans. A research team at Harvard's Wies Institute believes there may be a way to one day take animals out of the testing equation. There's a big differences between a human and a mouse in the way they respond to drugs, in the way they react to their environment, chemicals. Um, so we're really trying to capture that human response, a true human response. Um, we're uh, doing research onto the development of organs and chips. That's right. By using technologies similar to the manufacture of computer microchips, Dr. Hamilton and her team have created organs on chips, lungs, guts, livers, even a beating heart, for use in the lab to simulate human organs. The idea is that within this environment we can, say, give the cells a home away from home, get the cells to behave like they would in the body, and give us the function that they would in the body. They're actually living cells within this uh, chips. So for example, we can take a long cell and put it in the chip, and we create a human lung on a chip. So breathing, living, human lung on a chip. And he will exhibit many of the functions that you would expect to see in a real lung. The cells come from a variety of sources. Some are grown in the lab, some come from organs donated for research, and some even come from surgical waste, healthy cells that may have been removed along with the tumor. The cells are injected into a polymer membrane making up the chip. In the case of the lung, the polymer can be stretched back and forth to simulate the act of breathing on the cells. It takes up to about anything between 8 to 12 years to get a drug to the clinic, and then it fails. That's really expensive. So these tools could help us accelerate the drug discovery process, learn that that might fail much earlier on. So fail fast, but fail cheaply. It's not just single organs Dr. Hamilton is looking at either. We would like to take this multiple organ systems and try and say take 10 different organ chips and link them together to create what we would call a, like a virtual human on a chip. And now this technology becomes really powerful because we can start to see how the body dynamically responds to, say, an inhale drug. We take it in, it comes into the lungs, it might have an effect on the heart and get excreted in the kidneys. That dynamic body's response to the drug, we can now mimic and predict what's going to happen before we get to the clinic. And you can envision where we could even do potentially clinical trials on a chip. While the chips are still in development, they do have a pretty big vote of confidence from the FDA. It awarded Vise a $5.6 million contract to use the chips to test different ways of treating radiation sickness. Matt Stewart, CNN Money, Boston.